So the guys over at Madfinger Games have sent me an early look at their new trailer that's debuting at the PC gaming show. This is for their new game, Grey Zone Warfare, and there's a lot of information on their Discord. So I'm going to try and do a bit of an analysis on this trailer that just debuted and go over some of the information and speculation that we already know. Grey Zone Warfare is an immersive tactical FPS with a maximum focus on realism. Join a private military company and navigate a vast open world setting alone or in a squad. Adapt to your surroundings, use tactics to your advantage, and fight against other human operators and AI-controlled enemies. So there's a lot of talk about this being a massive 42 km square open world extraction shooter, kind of like Warzone's DMZ. And I think it's looking a lot more like it from this new trailer. And what we do know regarding the map is it's a 42 km square map of the Democratic Republic of Le Mang, a fictional Southeast Asian country inspired by the stunning landscapes of Laos. So with that little bit of information that we already know, there's more on the Discord. I'll leave a link in the description to the game's Discord if anybody wants to dig any deeper. But in this video, it's all about the trailer that they've just revealed. So let's take a look. Here we can see a chopper landing and we've got a squad here approaching, possibly being picked up by a teammate or an extraction zone itself when they're getting out of the map. So Madfinger Games is actually a Czech development company. And of course, here in this area, we are big fans of Czech game development companies. As we see further on through this, it looks a lot like Tarkov on steroids. Very lush, dense jungle we can see surrounding our players here as they're approaching some AI compounds here. And uh, yeah, let's just keep playing it because it's, it's some pretty impressive stuff. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Let's stop there. We've got inventory. So it looks like we've got basic gear. We can wear probably helmets. So it's very familiar to us that's that's seen this kind of thing in other extraction survival -y shooters. And we've got a blood meter there, hydration, energy, a weight counter, intoxication, radiation, which is very interesting. And then we've got our pouches here. So we've got a chest rig a backpack, uh, some kind of belt, utility belt, uh, probably a safe case kind of thing. That's like, you know, like your, your safe loot that's in uh, Tarkov that you don't lose when you die and your pockets. And then we've got our dead body we're looting here, which is all very much uh, familiar to us that have, that have played other games like this. Here we go, we're eating, which is very nice to see. Helps for immersion. All these cool first person Eating animations. Here we see some parkour. We're jumping over fences here. Very tactical, which I do love. Getting a little bit of a hint of Modern Warfare's kind of soundtrack in there. So I'm not sure if this is like heavily inspired by Modern Warfare and they just want to really take it one step further mixed with Tarkov kind of thing. You can see out here we're, we're healing now with a surgical pack. Inspect animations, love to see it. Ballistics look satisfying. And then that's pretty much it. It's only a minute long. You can wish this now. I'll leave a Steam link as well in the description below. Just a quick look at this trailer reveal. As Madfinger have sent me this in 4K. It's looking really nice. I'm really impressed with the detail so far. The map looks gorgeous. Combat's going to be tense. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be one hell of a ride, I think. Um, so I'm, I really appreciate the developers sending me over this trailer beforehand so I can get my impressions out and made. There is no official word on whether this is extraction, but that's what it's looking like to a lot of people. But as far as I can find, nothing actually says officially that it's an extraction shooter. So maybe they're trying to avoid being labelled as that. Because there is quite a lot appearing lately. Even in the last year where we've been working on our extraction shooter. So, But if they're going in the direction of Warzone with the open world... DMZ style extraction. I think there's space for that. And this is looking really good. So let me know your thoughts on Grey Zone Warfare in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to it? 
Kind of a escape from Tarkov taken massively to the next level. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see the content I create. Most of all, thank you for watching, and I'll see you peeps next time.